Good evening, family. Good, good evening. Good evening, family. Look at what the Lord has done. Good evening. Good, 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 good evening. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good evening. Blessings in the name of Jesus. It's been a, it's been a long time since we came together on Scope, right? Blessed be the name of the Lord. I am so thankful to God. Sorry, the, the, the phone just flipped out on me. I don't know what happened. Dr. Nikisha, you've been missing for a while. You've been in my spirit. Blessed be the name of Jehovah, <clears throat> who loads us daily with benefits. It was such a blessing. It was such a blessing. Oh, Mickey as well. It's like, he, it's like he's looking at me like, who is this guy? He's well, he's well, he's well. He's kind of like, he's trying to sleep, so you know, he's just kind of like crying a little bit and trying to get himself to sleep. But it's a blessing, and I want to say thank you, family, for coming out to support. Thank you for those who just prayed. Thank you for those who were able to show up and really be there for the ministry. I can't begin to tell you how amazing and how wonderful it felt to be in the presence of the Lord. And for that, I'm very grateful. For that, I'm very thankful. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Back to uh, what you would call the normal routine. You know, I'm still a little bit, you know, jet like at one point I felt a bit dizzy, you know, just trying to, oh God, Jesus, thank you so much. God is good. Amen. Amen. You know, I was trying to lay down and Mickey wouldn't lay. He just kept on kicking me, you know, just kicking me. So I couldn't really sleep. But we bless the Lord. Amen. I thank you for prayer. I thank you. There's so much that we're going to share over the next couple of days. But I want you to understand that, you know, our mission and our vision is just expanding. Glory to God. The mission and the vision is expanding. And so we need to ask God for clarity and for direction always in all that we do. Praise him in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we love him and we thank him. Oh, we love him and we thank him. We acknowledge his presence and his awesomeness in our lives. And we're so grateful. Listen to me. What I'm seeing, you know, prayer man to be in when we come on scope, it is like the birthing place. Do you understand? When we come together every morning, every evening, it is the birthing place. So what you see at a culture prayer is as a result of this. Amen. As a result of our seven minutes prayer. So I'm being challenged now to take it up higher. Because next year we have about six, seven locations. We have London. We have Colorado. We have Charlotte. We have Ohio. We have Jackson, Mississippi. We have so many locations now that we need to hit. And so it is now a combination of prayer and sacrifice. Prayer and sacrifice. Prayer and sacrifice. That is what is going to be about now. Our praying and our sacrifices have to match up and it has to come before God as a memorial. Praise Him. It's got to come before Him as a memorial. The doors have already opened. I'm telling you. The doors have opened. The doors have opened and the Spirit of the Lord is bearing witness. The, the doors are open. And the two words that I just told you now is going to be our key. Prayer and sacrifice. Because, you know, as we put this uh, program together, and I'll have more conversations with you about it, I'm looking at how much it cost us to, you know, Sister Cheryl, how we had the whole three, four days. Okay, how much it cost us, the travel involved, everything, so that we will know how to prepare ourselves. Because, listen to me, I don't want money to be a hindrance. You see what I'm saying? I don't want it to be a hindrance. I don't want us to be doing, you know, this coming up, oh God, we can't pay this bill, no. So we're going to have a, a, a conversation, a family conversation, a family discussion on how we're going to get this thing to work. Because listen to me, if God has opened these doors, then it means before the foundation of the universe, guess what? There was already the provision. 
and to those who make themselves readily available, they become the conduits, they become the access doors for God to use to bring to pass that which he needs to. Amen. And so I want us to I want us to stay before God, okay? I just want us to stay before God. For the next couple of minutes, I just want you to join me in thanking him. Saying, Father, we are grateful. Elohim, we are grateful. Without you, God, none of this would have been possible. Without you, Charlotte would not have been possible. Without you, Charlotte would not have been possible. And Father, we thank you for using this opportunity to show us, God, your way. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we thank you. Listen, we went into this conference with the minimalist in terms of advertising. We were scared. We were nervous. I don't know about you. They didn't know how it was going to turn out. But look at the deliverance that took place. Look at the salvation that took place. People who were bound up got released. Amen. Those of you that were there, you saw what the power of God is all about. And we need to take it up. Listen. And listen to me. What we're going to do from now till around this time next year. And it may not be necessarily in July. It might be earlier. Sister Shane, listen to me. We're going to impregnate the womb of the spirit. My God. We're going to place some demands into the womb of the spirit. So that when we come together by this time next year, guess what? All we're going to do is command the manifestation of that which we had called into being six seven eight months ago are you with me are you with me you know finish i went to virginia had to do a bit of a recording listen i don't understand everything but i'm determined to follow god i'm determined to allow him to be the leader i'm determined to allow him to be the source i'm determined to allow him to be my strength and so I want you to be of the same spirit and of the same mind. Amen. As we go into that place of prayer to pull down strongholds, to pull down invincible walls, to pull down anything that will cause us to fail. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is magnificent. Our God is precious and we thank him for allowing us to be in his presence in the mighty name of jesus we love him holy spirit we thank you everlasting father we cherish you in the name of jesus let strongholds let strongholds be broken let satanic boundaries be destroyed let demarcations that the devil has placed in the realms of the spirit to frustrate our father now that the devil knows what we're about Father, we pray that any fight that the devil will bring to us, Father, we will overcome in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Any retaliation, we have already canceled it. Any retaliation, we have already canceled it. We claim the victory in no other name but in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, okay? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get myself back together again, you know. So much to do. So much to do. But I thank God for wisdom. And I thank God for understanding. And I thank God that he has blessed us enough for us to be in this position. The devil is a liar. God's name is exalted. Amen? God's name is exalted. Came in there with all kinds of fear. But God showed up. Those of you who were there will testify. God really showed up. And we are blessed to have him as our savior. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So just bear with me, okay? The time, the time zone and, you know, my eyes are all red. But I thank God, you know, for the first time, I flew business class. You know, we had a woman of God in Charlotte who, you know, managed to get me a good ticket. You know, helped, helped me so much. So Sister Cheryl, you know, you know, there was a time when I, you know, I used to fly in coach, right? And Sister Cheryl, I would say to, I would say to, uh, hey, Sister Jackie, God bless you. Uh, I say, God, one day I'm going to fly, you know, business. God being so good, I managed to do that last night. It was a fantastic experience. They treat you way different than when you're in coach. So God be the glory. Amen. So Sister Cheryl, Sister Jackie, 
everybody thank you so much god is just wonderful sister Val. So i had a blessed time some warfare as can be expected you cannot go deal with the devil and there'll be no backlash you know but it was destroyed by the power of prayer and so family i'm going to call on you remember these two words prayer and sacrifice we're going to need to make some commitments over the next couple of months okay we're going to need to make some because you know to, as, 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 as i speak to you we will, we will get to know the budget what it costs to put all this all this together okay for the three days in a different location so i need you to work with me okay as you know as we do there's a whole bunch of people that need a touch of god and we're going to make ourselves available to be the channels for god to use in jesus mighty name amen god bless you thank you for praying for me thank you for covering my family thank you for the support that you give generously thank you for those who came and just blessed me listen i am so grateful I am so grateful. I am so grateful. And um, God is good. God is good. So uh, we're going to, we're going we're gonna to come back to in the morning strong. Okay, we're going to go back to our notes. We're going to learn. We're going to be practical. Okay, I'm going to need some of you, Sister Sharon. I'm going to need some of you to be, you know, listen, we, we learned a lot. Asher, security. We're going to need prayer man to, to do these kind of things. Okay, we learned a lot. And, the, and 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 it, you know it's an, you know we're going to improve we're going to get better okay i had a meeting with sister esther sister natasha mother khan we sat down we looked at the pros and the cons okay and what we need to do okay so there's a lot to do i'm telling you i'm ready sister Shara, i'm ready i'm ready okay i'm ready so a whole lot of work to do i'm going to reach out to those of you that i need to reach out to okay in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. Love you so much. Love you so much. God is with us. That's all we have. We don't have nobody else. We, ain't got, we, don't, we don't consult any idols. We don't consult any demons. We don't consult any fetish priests. All we have is that name Jesus. And we saw the power that showed up in that place. Listen to me. One of the greatest testimonies that I received from a call to prayer was the band and the musicians. They said, listen. You know, nobody has treated us better. Like, you know, you guys treated us like royalty. And so, you know, you know, whenever you're doing something, we want to be with you. And listen to me. It is something when you do a meeting and the musicians give. You know, most of the time the musicians don't give, especially if you're paying them. You know, they just come to do. You know, they say that I'm just coming to do an assignment and I'm done. But the musicians were sowing. They were giving. The power of God was in the place. The general, the band, you know, when they were leaving, they asked us to pray for them. I'm telling you, the power of God showed up in that place. So, you know, I'm excited. You know, I was in Virginia. Before I could finish the shooting, they told me, you know, the, 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 the TV, they said, you know what? I called to prayer here in Virginia. I'm like, okay. Jackson, Mississippi has already been announced by the preacher. I said, okay. But, you know, brothers and sisters, we're going to make some commitments, okay? And I'm going to talk to you as the Lord gives us the revelation. Okay? Everybody was blessed. Everybody. Because, you know, when you do genuine ministry, this is what happens. It's not about you laying hands. It's the atmosphere that is set. When you do genuine ministry, genuine ministry, genuine ministry, that is what we do. Okay? So we're going to go back. We're going to seek the, the, the Lord's face to give us our daily portion, our daily bread. One thing that I want you to add to your prayer list, Sister Shana, is prayer and sacrifice. Prayer and sacrifice. Prayer and sacrifice. Sister Jackie, prayer and sacrifice. We're going to make some sacrifices because we want to go into cities with our budget already paid for. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. We're going to go into all the different locations that we're going to walk into. We're going to go there with our, you know, budget paid for if we do right. You understand? So, you know, the assignment, the doors have opened. The doors have opened. The doors have opened. And I'm so glad to have met. Some of you, you have no idea. You know, when I saw your faces, you didn't know what that meant to me. You have no idea inside me how happy i was you have no idea okay we're gonna do better 
because I want to have be able to let's say you know we can have breakfast in the morning you know we need to inter you know so listen we're getting there you know I came there some of you I was nervous some of you could tell I was scared didn't know what was gonna happen the first night I'm like Lord are people coming but that listen by the third night you know the close the seven the place was packed people were standing who would have thought through prayer mantle through periscope God will allow us to be Listen, I came from Ghana. You see the flyer, it was late. Some of you were asking for information. We didn't have it <laughs> to the last minute. Who would have thought? I mean, God, listen, I'm giving myself to God. As soon as my jet, you know, as soon as, as soon as my jet lag, you know, uh, finishes, I'm going to the mountain. Sister Cheryl, Sister Cheryl came from, the Sister Cheryl Fraser came from, you know, a ship. You know, she jumped on the flight and came. You see what I'm saying? Who would have thought? see some of the pictures you know I, I, I sent some pictures to people they were like Albert I'm like yes yes so we're going to work to do I don't want anybody this is the wrong time to disconnect from prayer mantle this is the wrong time to be quiet this is the right time for you to now tap in some more into God prayer and sacrifices that's what we're going to be working on okay thank you so much I appreciate you I need to go, uh, you know, just maybe lay down a bit. I don't even know if I can sleep, you know, you know, like I'm just all over the place. But I'm so, so thankful to God for coming to America and for seeing you and for fellowshipping with a lot of you. Thank you. Those of you that, you know, I, I, mean, I think the last time we spoke. Oh, see the two girls that are going to school. I managed to get them, the K3 school girls. So we, I got them two dictionaries, you know, one each. The only book that I could order was this one this is the only book that i could order for them the rest of them it looked like they didn't have it in stock now my brother is coming to ghana in the next month and my sisters too are in london they're coming so uh i can place all this for them okay so that they can pick it up you know my sisters will bring it okay uh those of you i think i have about five six people who are able to support them i'm gonna call on you okay i'm gonna call on you we're gonna have a meeting i'm gonna call on you so that we can set them up okay uh so that they're ready to go to school this is ministry this is what the lord has called us to do and it is my prayer that if we obey the voice of the lord trust me we'll eat the good of the land doors are opening for prayer man when i got to america i saw the it's almost like the lack of prayer the church is there the shouting is there the screaming is there the the church culture is there but the prayer is missing and so the demand and the cry. Some people say, you know, brother Albert, I feel like the Lord is going to move you to America. I said, I said, Amen. If that's the will of, you know, if that's the will of God, I said, if I was alone, I could make that decision easily. But you know, I have a family that I have to consider. You know, uh, so I learned so much. God, you know, the 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 doors that the Lord is open is Albert. Just stick to what I've called you to do, which is prayer. Ignite the fire in the people. Call the people back to that place of prayer. And so that is our assignment. That is what the Lord is demanding of us. Okay, so I'm calling you back. I'm challenging you. And I want you to see the fruits of your labor. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank God I made it back safely. Fantastic flight. The Holy Ghost Airlines, it was smooth. No bumpy roads, nothing. God looked after his own. It's a blessing. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Use your time. We're back. Let everybody know we're back. Let the demons know that we have made it. And God's name has been exalted. The devil is a liar. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed evening. Bye-bye. Sister Jackie, I saw, I saw your message. It's okay. You know, God, God is working. This one, and I'm glad that we're all, you know, God is moving. You see what I'm saying? Who knows? A call to prayer might come to South Africa, Cape Town. Who knows? You see what I'm saying? God is moving. God is speaking. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's, let's, let's come. You know, I'm going to add Cape Town and Johannesburg to, to the list. A call to prayer. I'm going to be praying. Why not? Why won't God do it? If he's not America, why won't God do it? In the name of Jesus. Come on, bow, bow your heads. Let's pray. Holy Spirit. We thank you for journey mercies. We thank you for a great conference. 
We thank you for the opportunity that you gave us, God. We thank you for the TV ministry that opened up to us. Father, you are God. Your voice can never be diminished. Your power can never be shut down. Teach us to crucify our flesh in this season. Teach us to crucify our flesh in this season, God. Teach us to rise, to do your will, to do your bidding in no other name. Ha! Yes, Lord, I release the touch of God. Be merciful to us, O God, and show us the way to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you, okay? In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay? We'll be back, you know, shouting, crying out to God, okay, from uh, tomorrow. Okay, God hears our prayers. Don't be, don't be discouraged, but rather be encouraged. Okay, He knows our names. You hear me? He knows our names. God bless you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.